So we're here at CES 2013, and uh, who are you? I'm Vlad, I'm CEO of Yota Devices, and our company recently launched information about our product, uh, Yota Phone. And uh, this is quite unique phone. It's, uh, on the first look, it's an Android device, but uh, we introduced the electronic paper display in the back side of the phone, and also develop a certain number of applications which substantially change the user experience and the way users interact with the smartphones. So you make customizations on top of Android? No, we, we actually develop SDK uh, on top of Android. We don't touch the Android itself. But uh, using those uh, API, you can either migrate the current available applications on the back side of, this, uh, of the phone, or you can develop uh, new applications for, for the electronic paper display. So this is an early prototype, but can you already show some of the yes, I can. features? Well, there are kind of five basic scenarios. One is uh, when you're running out of battery. And the current smartphones, uh, if you like using uh, maps to find the locations, uh, and if you're running out of battery, you might be in a very difficult situation when the phone goes off. So with our device, when you make one click, quick gesture, you can put the map on the back side of the phone, and it stays there even if you, the battery completely off. Nice. So what gesture was that? What do you do? It just was a two-finger gesture from the top down. For example, uh, I can show you once again uh, with another scenario where uh, we have a boarding pass, for example. Uh, we have a boarding pass. You can make one quick gesture, and it's placing boarding pass on the back side of the phone. And the beauty of electronic paper display technology is that the image stays there as long as you need it. And it doesn't stays forever? Yeah. Nice. So can, can you tilt a little bit? So how many prototypes do you have? Is this very few? Uh, we have uh, about uh, 50 prototypes. 50 prototypes, and uh, what is your plan for mass production? When or soon? Well, we are targeting uh, Q3 uh, this year for Russia and few European countries, and uh, we are targeting uh, end of the year for the North American markets. But it all depends on uh, how, how fast we can make a deal with uh, mobile carriers. So, how much weight does it add to have e ink on the backside? What do you mean with the weight in terms of weight? grams? Uh, it's definitely add a few grams, but I don't remember the exact number. Very few, right? Uh, yeah, very few grams. I mean, this feels like a normal phone, does it? Yeah, you can try it. It's just so, and the, it's the, the phone is actually 140 grams, 140 and it's plus minus minus plus plus minus. Uh, we are still working on uh, reducing maybe five grams less and uh, make it a little lighter, but that's the target, one 140. So that's your main phone, right? Now, right? Yeah, that's the only phone we are working on. It's the main that's phone. Your phone? You use this as yeah, I use it. Well, I use it uh, as much as I can because it's still first prototype. It's been like three weeks uh, since we took it for out of factory. And uh, so, do you experience that the battery life is longer because it's definitely for the reading experience for certain application uh, for certain scenarios. It's definitely a much longer than LCD display. All right. What kind of LCD are you using? Uh, well, you mean what kind of applications for no, LCD? Oh, for EPD. It's just a 4 inch or what is this? 4.3 uh, four, three, four inch. 4.3 inch? It's both LCD and EPD display, it's 4.3 inch. Is, there, is it going to be like a premium product or what? Yes, definitely. We're targeting it's a premium Android device. Uh, the specs is pretty, uh, pretty high, like uh, 12 megapixel camera, uh, latest, uh, well, basically latest and the greatest uh, um, uh, chipset from Qualcomm. Uh, is it quite so, it's S dual core, it's uh, 8260 uh, and uh, Snapdragon. HSPA uh, Plus? Yep. Great. And by the way, we also introduced a few other innovative things. Like, as you can see, there is no standard Google buttons. We remove them by uh, a few gestures, like one gesture when you do a swipe from right to left, it's, it's, it's go home or home. And then uh, also half of the display from right to left, it's. Uh, uh, back and there back? is a long press. It's multitasking. Yeah, sure. Look. So what is uh, this? What is this surface down here? What is that? It's a capacitive area, touch area. All right. Um, so if you go in something, you can show how you go back and stuff. Yeah, sure. For example, let's go to maps. Then I just do like this, and we go back. Nice. All right. And yes. by the way, uh, in terms of a uh, few applications we develop, I'd like to give you a quick uh, preview. Um, first is, uh, let's say, all kind of wallpapers. You can pick up the picture you would like to put on the back side, and you can also adjust what information you want, like clocks, date, or some other information. You can put on the back side of the, play of the phone, and this picture pop up there and stays there, so you can personalize your phone as much as you want. Also, uh, there is all kind of applications 
like Twitter, Facebook, RSS feed that we can put on the backside and it will stay there and update information in real time. So you don't need to wake up the phone, open applications to get the, the most important relevant information from the social media you, you are using. Uh, we also have some basic uh, widgets like uh, you can put the web information on the back side of the phone uh, or you can uh, uh, you can put the, pick up the calendar and you want to see some notifications about the meetings uh, on the back side, all kind of things. Can you show an, uh, a reader app? Uh, let me see if I can pull it because right now it's connected to, I don't have internet connection. Okay. Actually I would be able to put the but, uh, reader, but... Um, I would expect that the reader app would be a pretty cool thing to put. Yes, it's, it's there. I just, uh, I need a, to connect internet if you give oh, me contact, time. Maybe. Yeah, just... Uh, all right. Nice. And by the way, we, uh, we use Gorilla Glass uh, for both sides. Uh, so on the back side, it's also covered by Gorilla Glass. Is it now? Yep. Great. It's actually uh, the first uh, 3D curved uh, uh, Gorilla Glass uh, we did together with uh, Corden. 3D curved? Yeah. Whoa. And the camera is there? Yep. And there is also a capacitive area here, so we can pick up uh, certain images and applications. We can swipe and pick up. Uh, but th this, this side is not touched, is it? This area is not touched, but this area is touched okay. to make a basic navigation. All right. All right, so can you explain a little bit the company, Yota Devices, what do you do before? Yeah, Yota Devices actually uh, is a spin-off from uh, Yota. And Yota well known as a 4G mobile carrier, and uh, it's one of the largest uh, uh, European uh, uh, carrier. Um, well, European. It operates mostly in Russian, but in terms of in terms of size and subscription base, it's one of the largest uh, 4G carrier. And uh, Yota Devices was a division within this company, uh, but we decided to to spin off the business because, first of all, our modems and routers, 4G modems and routers, become very popular. We sold more than a million units this year, and it's become like self-sustainable business by itself. And also, our project uh, get a certain traction. We kick we kicked off manufacturing process uh, in July this year, so we we realized we need a kind of separate business to, to drive this process and to drive this product so to the do, market. Do you imagine or do you plan to be like uh, an international? Uh, this is going to be it could be everywhere. No doubts. It's it's uh, our target is to bring it to uh, most of the markets. It's just should be international.